What's up guys and welcome back to Need for Speed Heat. Today is going to be very exciting. We are going to be hopping behind the wheel of a JDM masterpiece. This is a 1992 Honda NSX Type R and uh, man, these things are, are just honestly really cool. I've always really liked them. It's actually born in the same year as me, which is kind of cool. But uh, yeah, you guys can see it's a, a level 152. We've got a 6 out of 10 customization rating. It's only going to cost us around $100,000. I mean, it's actually pretty expensive, especially for a car that's nearly 30 years old. But these things were really well made and uh, just very, very iconic. So I'm, I'm excited to see what we can do with it. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit slow stock with this level 152, but... Uh, we're going to put some work into her, and uh, I think we should be able to fix it up. So stock, we've got a 276 horsepower, 3 liter V6. Max potential horsepower is around 800. I just, I don't, I don't think that's going to be good enough. I think we're going to want something a little bit better. So we could put a uh, 3.8 liter V8 in here, get up to around 1,000 horsepower. There's another 3.8 liter V8, or we've got a, uh, a 4 liter V8. I'm going to say, I mean, let's, let's listen to the sounds. I mean, neither one of those really sounds like this thing stock. But I feel like this works a little bit better than anything else. So I think we're going to go with the 720 horsepower, 3.8 liter V8. And uh, from there, I mean, why not, dude? Let's go through. We are going to max out everything. We're going to turn this thing into an absolute monster. 984 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 2.23 seconds. Top speed of 234 miles an hour. This thing is going to be a gem from a performance standpoint, but uh, now we're going to have to make it look a little bit better. So I guess we could take a look at some of the community options here. I mean, not bad. I kind of like this one with the, the black and kind of the racing layout with the stripes and everything. But honestly, I... I I kind of know the direction that I want to go with this thing, if you want me to be honest with it. We're, we're going to Stormtrooper it out. I just I, I love the wide body, white and black look on this car. I think it's so clean. We also did it with the Acura NSX in our Acura NSX episode that we did a while back. But uh, I don't, there's just something about these cars that it looks so good on these guys. It looks good on pretty much any car, but I, just, I, I, I really like it here. So we're going to come in. We're going to go with, uh, with white, but maybe we should go for... Should we go with the satin metallic? Should we go, hmm. I think I'm gonna go with a, a matte white. We're gonna make it fully as white as we possibly can. Saturation all the way down. Uh, matte non-metallic white. I guess we could go with a little bit more of a metallic or a metal flake, but I feel like the matte white is gonna look pretty nice. So, uh, you know, super simple for now. Happy with how it turned out, but there's obviously gonna be a a lot more we're gonna be able to do here. So let's come into our body work. We've got a six out of 10 customization, so this is gonna be pretty cool. We've got an advanced kit. We've got a Honda kit, or we've got a Rocket Bunny kit. Interesting. Now can we, let me see, can we go, I think we're gonna to wanna to go with the, the Rocket Bunny. Let me see what the rear looks like. We've got advanced, or we've got Rocket Bunny. I guess with the Rocket Bunny look, it's gonna to have to be all or nothing. We don't really have a, a choice. We're just gonna have to go with the full part set, which I'm down for. So we've got that going on there. Gonna have to check out a uh, a splitter here. Looks like we've got the Rocket Bunny option. All right, looks pretty good. Can we put some canards on here? We've got some Rocket Bunny canards. Dude, this thing, it's it's got a lot of customization, but it doesn't really give you a lot of options, unfortunately. Ooh, that's ugly, I don't like that. Hood, we've already got the Rocket Bunny on there. Uh, but yeah, it's like we, we have a ton of different different things we can do to it to customize it, but at the same time, they're all very limited. You have to kind of go all or nothing on it, which is a, uh, a little bit sad, but we're gonna go with the, the Rocket Bunny look on the rear there. Looks pretty insane, so, bro, what is happening? This is not what I was envisioning when I was thinking about what we were gonna do to this, but um, it's also pretty cool at the same time. So we've got the Rocket Bunny rear diffuser. Definitely gonna wanna change up our exhaust a little bit. Looks like we do have Rocket Bunny exhaust. We could put it in the middle. All right. Pretty interesting so far. Tail lights. Gonna smoke these things out. Dude, that thing, that looks so fresh. This car is 30 years old, but it looks like this. Are you serious? I think she turned out pretty delicious here, fellas. Oh my goodness. I love this thing. It's so simple, so clean. 
You guys can see, I mean, we, we pretty much got rid of any color apart from the gold rims, which I feel like look really, really good. I wanted to get some gold underglow to go with it, but uh, the only one they had was like the step where it flashes, which I just don't like. So I went with an orange underglow just to be a little bit different, I guess. But uh, yeah, dude, this thing is is super, super clean. Like we, we took a 30-year-old car from the early 90s and turned it into... Kind of a, a work of art. I mean, obviously, the, the base of this thing is, is really beautiful and iconic by itself. But uh, I, I love what we did here. Nothing too crazy, but at the same time, definitely different. Love that wide body rocket bunny. It's slammed. We have all the way down. We, we couldn't go down any further than what we currently have. And uh, I feel like it turned out pretty well. This build is just too clean, dude. I, there's there's something about white cars. I just, it's it's... By far my favorite color. I, I feel like there's not a car that you can't go wrong with white on. You know what I mean? Ooh, that was actually that was kind of a nice little turn there. Threaded the needle a bit. But uh, speaking of threading the needle, that's where we're headed right now. We are off to our uh, our first, uh, first little race, first little time trial. And uh, this is the one where you pretty much just hammer down on the gas and... and okay. I was going to go around the right side of that ambulance and I didn't realize he was turning. Uh, but yeah, you, you hammer down on the gas you just don't let up. You just keep it pinned to the floor the entire time and hope that you can evade the barricades and all kinds of stuff like that. So we'll get a feel for how quick this thing is. You guys know our last episode, we were in the La Ferrari, which, I mean, it was super impressive. And when you think about it, we paid literally one-tenth for this car versus what we did for that car. I guess if you count the engine swap, it gets a little bit closer, but it's still less than half. And um, I don't know, the La Ferrari, like, it was fast, but it wasn't quick. I'm hoping that we get a little bit of both out of this thing. I'm sure that we will. This is like the, the top tier engine in this game with all the major upgrades. So uh, this should be interesting. We'll see what we can do. And uh, let's get it, baby. Here we go. I'm going to use our nitrous straight out of the gate. This guy's in the 918, so we're going to have our work cut out for us. But I think, uh, I think, I think we might be okay. Oh, shoot. Kind of overcorrected there a little bit. Dude, this is harder than you would think, especially on a controller. I feel like if we had a wheel... Which, by the way, I think they are bringing an update for wheels soon to this game, which is going to be fun. But uh, it's just it's super, super difficult to make small adjustments, you know what I mean? That was a clean section right there, though. Let's go. Dude, it's kind of it's kind of hard to see what's coming next because it's all happening so quickly, but we're good. If we take out little edges of some of these things, I'm not worried about it. It's better to just plow through it rather than try to, try to evade everything, you know what I mean? Oof. Things like that are where we slow down, though. We gotta, we gotta not hit the, the multiple in a row like that, but bada bing, bada boom, there we go, dude. <laughs> this thing is quick, I'm not gonna lie. That was, um, that was pretty fun. I really like that race. I wish it was a little bit longer. I wish they kept it going. 56 seconds. We beat the time by 02, 0.02, or two, two, two seconds. I think it was 58. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, yeah, beat it by two seconds. That was solid. Set a new record for ourselves, and uh, let's, uh, I'm going to say, dude, let's let's swap over to nighttime. I've had fun with some of the night races recently, so we're going to go get a, um, I want a level 400 race. On our way there now, we're going to go see what Lightning has to offer, but uh, yeah, I want to, I want to do some racing at night, see if we can get to some trouble with the cops. I feel like we haven't done as many night races in some of the recent episodes, and um, I don't know, better competition out there at night. Obviously, this is going to be one of the better cars in the game since it's upgraded so much. So, uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do. Swap things over to the nighttime. I'm curious to see what this orange is going to look like, if it matches the rims pretty well. I feel like it does. I don't think it's bad. I think, like, a... I mean, personally, I would have liked a purple. We could have gone red, but we literally always put red on there. So, I wanted to do something a little bit different. So, I, I feel like it, it works. Gold would have been the best to match those rims, but... Um, I just, I, I don't like, I don't like the flashing ones. So, uh, let's see what we can do here, fellas. Gonna put in some work. Looks like we've got an F40 next to us. Got a lot of people cheering us on. We're like the grandfather of most of these cars out here. We're four or five generations back, but, uh, we're gonna, gonna make the most of, make the most of these new parts in this new engine. Here we go, baby. Off to a decent start. It's going to be kind of a war of attrition. we got to be careful. Make sure we don't run into anybody. 
Make sure we stay stay on the up and up with our, our health. Dude, ooh, okay. Got a little fish taily there. But we're gonna be fine. Trust. I actually like how uh how slidey this thing is. It's pretty much the polar opposite of what the LaFerrari was yesterday. So, I mean, straight line, it's not going to be able to handle as well. But when we're talking about all these nice corners, we're really going to be able to, to put in some work, dude. Beautiful. Looking pretty good so far. We've got, uh, could probably use our nitrous here. Got that rainbow nitrous, baby. Oh, my goodness. That was a hard hit, Trev. Holy guacamole. And we're back. Okay. That. that <laughs> Bro, is there a gas station on the way through here? We're about to run into some cops, too. All right, that was... I mean, the, the I was just trying to make it interesting. Obviously, the, the nitrous was unnecessary there. There was no reason for us to use that. We were so far ahead. We had nothing to lose, or, or nothing to gain and everything to lose. But hey, we gotta we gotta keep things interesting, right? Our handling definitely doesn't feel quite as strong as it once did. We've got our nitrous back and we've got a cop up here ahead of us. And I don't see any gas stations in sight. I'm gonna have to hope. We're good. I'm gonna have to hope we can get away from this cop before he gets some some back up in here. Cause somebody hits us, we're gonna be in trouble, dude. Or if we hit anything, we're gonna be in trouble. Gonna evade oncoming traffic like the plague. Whew. Like the coronavirus, hashtag too soon. Man, to be honest, that thing's kind of scary, but I don't know. I feel like people kind of overreact. Media overhypes it. Everybody gets on the, the crazy train. Dude, the flu every year kills so many people. Like, way more deadly and way more widespread than the coronavirus but you don't see anybody talking about that so i i think we're gonna be good i don't know we'll see what happens i am recording like i'm probably four episodes ahead right now when i'm recording this so uh if anything develops in the next week or so i'm, I'm gonna be in trouble because i'm gonna sound like an idiot but um Hoping, fingers crossed, everybody's gonna be okay. But, uh, all right, we're up to a level three heat. Let's go do it, high heat event. We haven't done one of these in a while, so I'm down. Let's get after it. We're fully repaired. We're gonna be a little bit more responsible with our uh, our nitrous use. Remember kids, don't, don't do drugs, it's not good. And uh, we're gonna see if we could go win a high heat race. Well, this isn't good. Hopefully none of these guys turn in here. Nope, they both went the other, oh, he's, He's whipping a U-turn. Was that legal, sir? Oh, shoot. Are they chasing somebody or something? That was weird. We're just gonna have to kind of slow play this. Oh, gosh. We're in a sandwich now. There's one behind us and two in front of us. That high heat race is still quite a ways away. Bro, what are you doing? That just scared me. He's turning around in the off, in the off ramp. He's, he's turn Is he coming to us? He's literally blocking the off-ramp that we need to get to. Shoot, dude, are you kidding me? Bro, what the, I just used my repair. I'm just trying, and I can't start the race until we, we lose these guys. This is frustrating. Here we go, I'm gone. See ya. Dude, we tried so hard to be sneaky and it just didn't work. All right, we're gonna have to turn around and we're just gonna have to blow their doors off back the other way and hope that they, like we pass them quick enough that they won't be able to flip the lights and catch us. Here we go, come on. Just blow by them, blow by them, blow by them, blow by them. They flipped the lights on, but I think, I think we should be able to get away. We kind of let them all away from the race. So this, I mean, might've been the best thing that could have happened for us. Let's try to win it, get some extra rep, get some money. I'm pretty sure you earn money for these high rep races, so kind of get some return on investment on this thing, and let's uh, let's get after it, dude. All right, we got a long straight in the start. Ooh, the high heat race. We're going over the fire. I don't think I've noticed that before. Ran into those guys, so it kind of cut off our nitrous pull at the start. But we're gonna be okay. Let's uh, let's just let's just do our thing, dude. Woo! Beautiful work. Fantastic corner right there, Trev. We've got uh, cops coming. Oh my gosh, just trying to avoid these guys. They're throwing themselves at me. I don't like you, brother. 
No, I don't want to hang out with you. Here we go. Leading the pack up the mountain. Looking pretty good so far. This thing has a, a really nice balance to it in terms of cornering ability and sliding and drifting ability and stuff like that. It's it's just, it's it's really well put together. So do we, do we want to use our nitrous here? I don't think we do, if you want me to be honest. These little two lane roads that go through the, the, the backwoods of this map. Oh my gosh. I, I, I don't I don't think it's a good idea to use nitrous through here. So we're we're gonna we're gonna try to play this safe as safe as we can. It looks like we've got a couple of corners and then a straight to the finish. So this was actually a a pretty low key race. Come on, Trev. We're good. Come on. We're okay. Pretty low key race, it was pretty quick. But uh, we got the job done and I believe we've got a straight to the finish here. Woo! Watch out for that traffic, but we got it, baby. That's what I'm talking about, dude. I'm gonna be out. Like I really like this car, but I didn't. I didn't race this well today. I I, I feel like I kind of hit a lot of stuff. I think I was put into some pretty hard situations that uh, that definitely weren't ideal. But at the same time, like that's that's no excuse. We got to step up to the plate when we're put in those situations. So either way, we did well. We won. We just kind of trashed the car up a little bit. But we got our volatile part. We are gonna head back to our uh, back to our little garage over here, safe and sound, and turn ourselves in for the night. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you guys want to see more night races, like I said in the last episode, I'm thinking about doing a pista episode, which is all high heat focused racing. So, if you guys want to see that, drop a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.